uh, you will after the bad guys act. Okay? Oh, right. So, let me take care of finishing up these stymies. Okay, so you will get your flurry, but I've got to move it out of the way for the moment. Okay? Um, wait a minute. Mo, you did fire, right? Okay, okay, okay. I was just thinking that that was a last turn thing. Let me... Uh, so it's your turn to fire then, if that's the case. Yeah, he did. Yeah. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, like uh, this big armored guy. And you can move, yeah. Comes dropping down, like right behind this guy. This dude's been like completely relaxed. I, I must have hit it on the ground with the old line. Yeah. Uh huh. Actually, this guy, this guy was facing up towards you, so he's facing this direction. Okay. Yeah. And as you come down, he turns to face you. As do these two. Where'd they knock down? Um, let's see. I don't think they were knocked down. They were just stymied. Uh, let me let me look real quick. Again. So, Suban, I want to make sure everything is good to go. Sun burial. Uh, da -da -da -da. To one meter, a living creature in the area. Nope. They, they are not necessarily knocked down. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Actually, here's what we can do. Uh, let me let me just go ahead and like so, like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're gonna try to tell the dog. <laughs> All right. So, commune with animals. So I just kind of open that one up. Okay. Speak. Uh, speak to one type of animal. Okay. Your difficulty is is a ten. Don't forget to select your, your token if he's not already selected. Okay. All right. So I guess it's your faith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been happening to me all. Oh, no, you did not. Oh. Okay. So hang on. That he yeah he's in the Nile Empire so he can't disconnect. Okay. Uh, actually, actually wait a minute. Hold on. With the with the axiom on that spell. Okay, it's a spirit six and and the uh. So Nile spiritual was eighteen. So whoo. That was close. <laughs> okay, so now it's the bad guy's turn. Uh, actually, let's see. So yeah, you you failed on that. You can't even apply cards or anything. So so you you try and, and speak to the dog, and the dog is just like completely ignoring you. Um, Son of a hammer toe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh no, you you still speak Adinos, but you also speak English. They all stare Um this shock trooper right here uh, is going to take aim at, um, let's see, let's do a d6, and oh, uh, odds are, okay, that's what I thought. So, Thuban, you are about to be shot at by this shock trooper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, let's see, Thuban...
Do I get any gas of shock of the trusted lieutenant suddenly turning into a giant starfish monster? I don't really know. You don't really have a fear factor. Yeah. But you know what? I am going to give just a little bit of a penalty. Okay. Um, so this one is going to use his Schmeiser MP40, which is 10, 25, 40. So let me see what the range is right now. Come on. And oh, yeah. Uh, so he's at medium range. Uh, so he's a minus two there. So he's a total, I'm going to give him a total of minus four to hit you, but he's doing a short burst. Can he do a short burst? Uh, yeah, short burst. So ammo three. Um, so that'll reduce to that. He's got enough ammo though, I'm going to tell you that. Uh, and a plus two to hit. So his total penalty is actually only going to be a minus two. Schmeiser MP40. Minus two. Submit. Okay. So his ability to hit uh, is terrible. Malfunction on a roll of uh, one or two. Yeah. Um, so his result is like nothing. So that's him. He's done. This guy, he's not going to be able to get very much, very far, so he's not going to be able to do much, even though he could fire through that space, but he risks hitting his own guy. So, oh, this guy also is fatigued. Uh, so that's two. The squad sergeant's not going to be able to hit unless he hits his own guy. He's using a pistol. I'm not even going to have him fire through, so... Okay, the dog will try and attack, though, so... Dog free, okay. Um, I'm going to have the dog try and attack first. So that dog that dog does whip around on Mo, does run up. So what that tells me is he's got a penalty of two to, to attack. Kind of move him down there. So let's get the dog... Now, uh, bite and claws, okay, uh, he's going to have a penalty of minus two, and so that's an eight, um, so what was the roll, the roll was a 14, okay, he can't spend a possibility or any, but, uh, anything, but he can grapple with a bite. Um, if he hit. Mo, what is your unarmed? Okay. It goes to the defender, which is you. So the dog does, the bar, the dog may nip at you, but does not actually cause damage because he rolled an eight. Um, okay. So that's the dog. And then shock trooper three. Um, since his dog is too close to you, he's going to whip out his sword and try and run you through. So let's see. Okay, so that's, that's sucky. And he has, and he wasn't in the turn tracker either. And he rolled a nine. Okay. Now... Did he hit? No, he missed. Okay, so that's him in a nutshell, uh, in, especially since he stymied uh, until the next round. This guy can't do anything right now. These guys are dead, dead, dead ski. Um, okay, this guy... <laughs> this guy follows after Chris into the building uh, and goes to run Chris through. Now, you're actually inside the building. Chris, are you there? Yeah. Okay. So, ST runner. Okay, runner two. So he tries to run you through with his short sword. Uh, since he ran in, he's at a minus two to hit. So, submit that. All these guys are sucking. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, turn. And what did he roll? 
Uh, he rolled a six. So there is that. Oh, I did have him one there. Okay, good. So let's see. That's him. He's fatigued. Those guys are still need. He's fatigued. And okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it should be. Yeah. Okay, Thuban. Your turn for the flurry. Yeah, I am going to hit the dogs and the new shark troopers that hit before with another summon burial. And Mo is just going to see the crowd right in front of him. Okay, so that's a result of 14. Uh, what is the range on that, anyway? That's 25 meters. 25 meters? Ooh, okay. All right. All right, Paul. Smooth and easy. So let's see. What kind of a success was that? 14. Uh, it's versus their Dodger Dexterity. So yep. the sergeant is going to have the highest uh, Dodger Dexterity. So, so let's see. His dodge is going to be a 10. Okay, so versus those tens, and it's a medium area. So Dodger Dexterity, that's a ten. You rolled a ten? No, you rolled a fourteen. Okay. Oh, you, well, but your result came out to be a fourteen. That's a good result. So the damage becomes. Oh, wait a minute. So the damage becomes ten plus two bonus dice. And remember, just just roll them as bonus dice. Don't forget to select to ban first. I'm I'm hanging in there. I'm about to reveal something kind of important, but I want to finish getting. Okay, yeah, do the damage roll. There we are. Okay. One wound, two shock. So now, okay, there's the squad C sergeant. Uh, and one wound. Uh, two, where's the shock? Hello. There's the two shock. Okay, so he's done. That guy is done. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm getting there. Give me a, give me a moment. Okay, so, uh, while I'm doing this, you describe to Mo exactly what the spell does, how it acts, if you would please. So, all right, so the spell effectively kicks in big chunk of the ground, and keeps on it, flips it 180 degrees, and then slams that down to the ground like a cartoon. It's like something out of the world, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and it's it's not dirt it's actually uh kind of a, a loose gravel it's pea gravel so it, it might be more than that matter of fact mo give me a dexterity oh no 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 it's all right it's all right uh, let's see so edit hang on just a second let me delete this guy and a net result of two. You take two shock. That's all right. You couldn't have accounted for that. But you do get a whole bunch of pebbles in your face. Okay, come on. Open up. Okay, and these guys can't take any wounds at all. So let's see. Shock. There we go. That's a good boy. And edit. Delete. You just sent a beautiful German Shepherd to its doom. You oh, bastard! Oh, <laughs> oh, it was the Dr. Hux! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Oh, yeah, I'm a killer. Order, the wide, wide world of sports was there. So that was Tuban's turn. Villains are already fatigued. I already took care of that. Let me get this back open.
Okay, so only one chance is the name of this card. Any test for a critical problem suffers an extra minus four penalty. So if we were doing a, a dramatic scale resolution, not only would you be facing the potential for a critical problem, it would be easier to become a critical problem. Do you all understand what a critical problem is? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What, what, what's in these buildings? It's not taken again. So over here, and it's not a stockade. They don't actually have a stockade on base here. Okay, so, hold on. Um, it is a standard scene. Villains get to go first. Uh, and any multi-action will get you a card. All right, so villains get to go first. Let me work through this real quick. Um, so this guy is actually going to move there and he is going to fire on okay odds are Thuban evens are peaches okay gonna fire on peaches this time oh, yeah. yeah uh <laughs> this guy right here okay and Schmeiser, and there's no penalty this time, I don't think. Let me measure that real quick. Ooh, just inside short. Okay, so let me make sure. Yep, he's on there already. So let me roll the Schmeiser. 19, ouch. So let's see. That actually gives him a result of 14. So what is your dodge? Okay, okay, so no bonus dice, um, but I do roll damage. Let me pick this guy, okay, and then try and roll damage. Choosing Penny, no bonus dice. There we go. Okay, so you take a whole two shock from that. Ooh. Well, I was worried when you rolled a 19. Yeah. Um, had, it, had it been under the old system, you would have taken more damage. Now, let's see. So he's accounted for... Well, it won't be your turn to shoot back just yet. Uh, this guy only has one round left until he wakes up. Where's the one? Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, layer, token layer, back to the objects and tokens. So let's see, Manatep. Where did I hide Manatep at? All right, so Colonel Manatep, one, two, three, four, five, six, gets out of his office, and as soon as he sees what's going on, he starts to run towards you guys. Now, he has a Schmeiser, not a Schmeiser, I'm sorry. Um, uh huh. He's got one of those. He's got a Mauser pistol. It's 10, 25, and 40. So, measure. Okay. So, you're both Thuban and Peaches within range. So, uh, again, odds for Thuban, even for. Okay, so Peaches. You're getting fired at again. Uh, let's see. Um, you you would think so. Now wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just gave me something. I'm going from Manatep. Okay, so he's at medium range for both of you. So, but he is still aiming at Penny. So. Modifiers minus two. Is he a Um no. Because if we go from center of to center of, he's got plenty of space. Okay. So what was I looking at? Okay. So the result is an eleven. What is your dodge? 
Okay, so he misses at, at that point. Wait a minute. Does he have possibilities? <laughs> so roll the 15 there. Let me see if Manitab's got possibilities. Um, he does. He has three possibilities, so he's going to add one. And let's see. I've already corrected that. Yes, he is shooting at you. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Nicely done. Because that would have been deadly. That was a result of 25 minus 12 is what? 13. So that would have been three bonus dice. <laughs> Uh, two oh, bonus dice. Right in the face, and, and, and he, he, he bends around. He really, really hard, and he sees the success right in front of his eyes, and I just murdered him. Yep. Okay. Um, so that's Manitep. That's him. Okay, those guys can't really get at you right now. They might be able to get at Mo, but he's he's hiding behind a uh, an armored truck, uh, an APC, and it's very very high. Uh, well, both, but Mo can more easily hide behind the APC. Uh, so let's see. This shock trooper SC Runner Two, whom I still have open, is going to take another sword attack at Chris. So no modifier this time. Uh, 17. That looks like it's going to hit, Chris. That's a result of 12. What is your uh, melee defense? Your melee defense is a 13? Okay. Um, how did it get so high? It didn't used to be that high. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, yeah, you've got something that, that helps you with that, don't you? So, melee defense, melee weapons is 13. Look at you. Look at you go. Okay, so it's a miss uh, from that uh, from that shock trooper. For whatever reason, he can't seem to, to get at you. So, now I'm not anywhere near done yet, so give me a minute. I used negate for the first time tonight. Colonel Manitep missed me. <laughs> neener, neener, neener. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Layer. Token layer. Okay. This machine gunner right here. Let me get on the right layer so I can point him out. This machine gunner in this tower right here uh, is going to actually aim his schmeiser in your direction. Uh, let's see, we're looking at uh, Thuban and Peaches again. <laughs> okay. Um, well, he wasn't really paying attention. He was looking around for his target. Uh, he's on a tower, so he's looking outwards. He was not, he was not looking inwards until he started hearing gunfire. So, uh, let's see. So we're talking 25 meters to Thaban, and this one is ST4 Squad B. Okay. Yes, I've got these guys very highly named. At least you're having an easier time with these guys tonight than you were with the uh, the the Janos people. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this guy's gonna go for a short burst. So ammo three. Let's take care of that now. Um, plus two to hit. So, but he's minus two to hit because of range. Uh, actually, he's minus four to hit because he's long range. So, uh, but with the bonus of two, that means he's only got a penalty of two. So, submit. Oh, no. Oh, oh boy. Okay. So, add turn. And let me make sure that this guy's last roll is on there. So, all right. So, Thuban. 
That's going to be a result of 15 uh, with, okay, what is your uh, dodge? Okay, and that includes the shield, right? Yes, that includes the shield. Okay, so he misses, um, but you and Peaches are kind of in melee. So, let's see. So that's a penalty of minus two, so 13. So, Peaches, your dodge was 13, including the... It's a 12? Okay, so you're going to get hit, but it's not going to be any bonus dice. Now, the reason you're getting hit is because he did a short burst. So, that's... Uh, so Connor attempted to argue that with the three-meter scale of each square on the map. They had plenty of room between them. Um, they're, they're still adjacent to one another, as it were. Um, but there was a, an, I put on an additional penalty of two, um, for, for that distance. Okay. Uh, and almost like she's a secondary target. Okay. So no bonus dice. And let's see, 13 damage and okay. Let me scroll back down. Peaches, no bonus dice. Submit. Okay, you take two shock. A whole two shock from all of that. I got shot three times. Take two shock. <laughs> yeah, but your shock is not showing up anywhere. It's it's on your character sheet. How much shock have you taken total in this? This is the first time I took shock. Now let's see this guy right here. I think this guy is probably too far away. 38, no. No, but he's going to have a heck of a time. He's at long range. Because um, he's got out to 40 meters, so he can't hit the band, but he can try and hit Peaches. So, ST3, Squad B. Squad B, ST3. Now's the time when I'm trying to get to a point to get Dogfight out of jail. So, Schmeiser MP40. Minus 4. Josh spoke of my promise to get Robert into the game soon. Uh, Robert, I apologize about that. Um, so, so he missed. Uh, yeah. But he... ST4 Squad B, is that the right guy? No, ST3 Squad B. Okay, let's move this guy around here. There we go. There we go, that's a good boy. So, I'm not even sure Robert is listening anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. Um, yes, let's see, I think that's it for the current round. I will tell you this, all hell is breaking loose. Now, uh, I believe it's your turn, y'all. Uh, so heroes go next. So, what is your plan? Well, actually, like, that's the blazing. Um, hey, uh, important to sense anything that you want to action in his work, I'm going to try and shoot him the double, double tap. I'm going to be shooting ST5 nanotech. All right, now, Chris. Three, four, four, uh, Okay, so Manatap and the guard. And this one. ST5QC. Okay, or Squad C. If I even have him out here now. I've got too many of these things open. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, it's a multi-action. Uh, don't forget to select uh, Penny, uh, Peaches, token, and then... Um, in, in this case, you're, you're only hitting a second target, so it's a minus two, but, but you've got your, let's see, what is the range on that? I believe it was 15 meters. Okay. So it's nine meters. It's, yes, I know. So, okay. So let's figure it out for, uh, shock trooper five first. And he's less than eight meters yeah, so he's so he's short range, and then we'll figure out Colonel Manatep after. 
But don't forget to add in that minus two, even for uh, Shock Trooper 5. And then it'll be an additional minus two to get to Manatep. That looks really, really good. So, uh, Shock Trooper 5, Squad C. I've got these all separated out. I've just got to get to the right people. Okay. It's beginning to look like a... Uh, hang on just a minute. Wait a minute, you rolled a 10? Oh, the ten, then the nine. Oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't see the, I see or hear the second dice. So, <laughs> all right. So, Shock Trooper Five has a dodge of eight. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with the eleven. So you needed a thirteen to hit. Um, on this guy. Uh, okay, so I, if I'm not mistaken, you hit very nicely. Uh, so, okay, so you hit both of them on the shock trooper. You get two bonus dice. We're going to roll Manatep and the shock trooper separately. Um, so go ahead and roll for your Remington uh, and add two bonus dice, and this will go to shock trooper five. Okay, first target, I'm going to choose. Two, yes. Okay, two wounds, four shock. This guy is pretty much post hostios. Okay, so let's see. Uh, and four shock. Where's the shock? I don't even know why I'm keeping track of it, really. So this guy, uh, delete character. Um, let me get back to my select move. And then move him to the map layer. Now, go ahead and roll for Colonel Manitep. Uh, you get one bonus dice on him. Wait a minute. Hold on. 16 minus 8. That's why you got two bonus dice on him. On Manitep. Manitep's got a... Uh, where's Manitep? Roll one bonus die with that. Okay, so he only takes two shock. Okay, I mean, that's that's not bad. It could be worse. Sure. That's Peaches, and she went first. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Wait a minute, is that right if you use the same action? You were using the same action. I don't think that counts as the multi. But what I'll do is, and this is for my clarification, so hang on just a second. Don't get, uh, don't get all pitchforky on me yet. Um, I, I, I've got to look it up. Multi-target characters can attack multi-multiple characters with first-point interaction attacks. Okay, each additional target and charisma is equal to the character can't hit more targets than he has shots. Multi actions you can attempt to do two or more things. The player declares all the actions. Okay. Uh, let's see. Repeating characters cannot use the same skill more than once in a multi action. A hero cannot make two fire combat attacks. She can use multi targeting rules. Okay, you get a card. So. What? How do you know what you're going to get? I did not give you a romance romance card just now. I just gave you the card. You're in the middle of a combat here. I'm not sure the romance card is actually going to apply. But that can go along with your other card. <laughs> So, <laughs> which is yeah your connection card um this could this could turn out to be funny um oh my goodness go ahead and reclaim both of those cards because there's nobody on the base you want to do a romance with and since you just shot colonel manatep you're not going to want to romance him either okay yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> 
she shot me three times. I'm ready to explain for relationship starting. She shot me. If you tell me, if she shot me, she loves you? Yeah, I live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, uh, I love those movies. Okay, so Peaches, you just used your action. You can still move. Do you want to move? Um, I thought I heard the move, so I'm going to definitely see if I can to advance where I can see. I can see them. Well, actually, um, can I see it here? Uh, y you might be able to, yeah. You look over in this direction. And you see, well, the armor that that uh, that Andrew described earlier. Okay, so now hang on. Who goes next? You've got Chris, Taban, and Mo, who have not yet gone. Mo. Yes, I'm ready for you. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, I want you to take a second and examine your surroundings. Okay. 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 So that's going to be a multi action. Colonel Manatep has an intimidate skill of 11. So. You're gonna, you're gonna need a 13 against him, and then of course you're you're going to, to turn and aim at the lock to 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 blow that away. So <laughs> so go ahead and roll your intimidation. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Me. Okay, yeah, you rolled a two, so you can still do that. Did you select Mo before you rolled that? Yeah, he should have selected Mo. Uh, let's see. Nope, your roll was a two. Okay, now you're now you're set up. Select Mo. I selected Mo. Okay, and then I, what I want you to do is roll more or less for accuracy. The lock is really, really small, so I'm going to give you a pen an additional penalty of minus four for that. Okay? So your total penalty for doing this is a minus six. Okay? So go ahead and if you're going to spend a possibility, do that. If you've got a card you can use, do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, last roll was a two. Good, it kept it into account. Um, and Mo, it kept that one into account. Total roll 14. So that gives you a 16, but that only puts you ahead by five. There it is. So I'm going to play my drama card as a possibility. Okay. And go ahead and roll that as long as you've got Mo selected. Do that new possibility. Oh my goodness, there you go. Okay. Oh, 33. Holy smokes. Okay. I've got a 47. Does. Yeah. Okay, now we've had how many turns uh, since this began? I was just going to ask about that. Let me look at the discard. Um, oh, not that one. I need the other one. 
Okay, so hide. I need the drama deck for the Nile Empire up. Okay, and let's see. The discard there. Okay, you are on round four. So Peaches should have uh, four cards, five cards, uh, except for what she spent in her pool. The rest of you, if you've acted, should have four cards. If you haven't acted yet this round, you'll only have three cards in your pool, minus whatever you've spent. Okay. And... You could, I, I think you could only use one supporter, and you would have to trade for that. Uh, no, wait a minute. Supporter, supporter, yeah, supporter's not a trade, but the the other one, the uh, what did you mention, Josh? Adrenaline. Um, that would be a plus. Okay, Ginger. Um, okay, we are at presently 47 for the total roll. What we're trying to find out is if we put a certain number of cards in a supporter, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that gives a possibility. No, three. Okay, supporter adds three, and then uh, the other one adds three. Um, that only gets you up to 43. Okay. But I also have a glory available in my pool. Okay, but hold on a second. Hold on a second. There's only 46. Go ahead and take that glory card back for a second. I want to see the other card. Well, his roll is, okay, 47. For 8, for 9, 50. 1, 2, 53. With the three cards that you're looking at, you come up four short. I have an Okay, so that would be two adrenaline cards, right? But we've got to look at trades and stuff. So, um, okay, so Chris. Well, well, but you're the one who's trying to do the glory. So, actually, wait a minute. Who's got the glory card? That's Ginger. Okay, and it's your. For Mo, your your glory card is in your pool. Yep. Okay, so it would be you that would be trying to do the glory. You can't do a multiple glory off of sixty. Okay, you only do one glory at a time, but it will help you out as as you're going along. So, um, Mo has the glory. Uh, Ginger, you did you say you have a card that could help out? Yes, I have this. Okay. Um, not yet. He's he's not been he's not been secured yet. This action or not secured. He hasn't been released yet. This action would help him. He doesn't know who's going on or who's trying to rescue him or anything. So. He heard both. Huh. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and allow it, but give me a second to get out cards and then we're going to go step by step, okay? So hang on. All right. Cosm cards, Nile Empire. Let's get the one Cosm card out to. Um, oh, wait a second. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, my possibility, my, my possibility like a, like 30 or like that. Well, I mean, what do you mean? Why, why can't you use that? Oh. Okay, so wait a minute. Law of action. Spend a second possibility right after the first roll another to roll another d20, taking the higher result. Oh, okay. So that's only for taking the higher result. Okay. All right. So that's not really going to help. You got it. But with the 
without a uh, without a possibility we really can't do this because all those cards that you guys were talking about add to the bonus number not to the die roll correct oh crap yeah that's right well boogers you only one more point I think okay so let me get back to where we were okay you had you had then a, okay whose action is that oh you're still going to play that okay so, okay yeah, there you go. Um, that's too bad. I was hoping. Because um, I like those glory results. You guys have had three in, in four and a half adventures. You have a result of 28. Okay. Colonel Manatep's um, intimidation is an 11. So that's a result of 17. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Where is that new... Uh, let's see. Intimidate... Your intimidation gets you a player's call. What do you want Colonel Manatep to do? Uh, he, he, he turns pulp to chicken and uh, runs telling his men, Get the man, I'll bring reinforcements. Okay, so... <laughs> so, one, two, three. That's as far as he can move right away, okay? Um, so let's see. Um, I'm not seeing anything that will help out to distinguish this. Drowning, sneak. Okay, we're, we're just going to have to make sure that, uh, that he's just not in the best of shape. So, all right. And then you aimed here and broke open the lock. So... Uh, dog fight. One steel well placed bullet right through the lock and dog places Okay, so dog fight, who has been under interrogation for three days now, um, uh, and has been staying in this nice, terrible, hot, sweaty box, and is more or less worn out, um, is, and already has his shock to him. Uh, let me, let me kind of open that up real quick. Uh, is that all I wanted to do? I think that's all I wanted to do. Yes, six shock is perfect. Um, and of course that will heal in minutes, but, um, he comes falling out on hands and knees, uh, and, and does not have his equipment on him. He's basically been stripped down to nothing, but his equipment is actually in the shed. What do you want to say? Either of you. Wow. I thought Rocky Raiders so were fast. It took three days to rescue me. <laughs> All the way from Chicago, Texas. Let's get you out of here, Mr. Man. Hey, you still don't have any clue here, Larry. Yeah, you still don't, yeah. Exactly. The only one I have seen is the big floating starfish. Uh, <laughs> all I do it in, and then Colonel Wuss's nuts came over and gave me a better target. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of Well, the fight's not over yet, so. Right. Well, Colonel, it's up for Colonel Lunatic. I expect people to stop and for the moment, for the moment. So, um, Mo, I need to get you a card. Do I not? Yes, you did. Well played, sir. Well played. Well played. Okay. Whew. So, uh, we're almost done with the scene, and we'll go into actually scene three next week uh, when we get there. But we are not done with the round yet. Uh, Thuban and Chris have not responded. All right. I'm going to see that there is a shop trooper over here, but you see Chris. I'll see. Duck. Um, actually, you can't see the shock trooper. Okay. Let me let me explain real quick. 
you've got a wall right here. You'll notice that I removed the roof. You, you notice that? Yes, I do. In that case, I will go float over here over pieces. Okay. Floating them up for a minute. Let's see if I can uh, get these to you know, come out of my range. Chris, do you mind using the name number or anything? Do you? Oh, wait a second. They're not out of range of all of my effects. I can still do these two. And I'm going to do that beyond that. Let's take it over again. Go yeah, okay. Uh, no, multi-target and multi-action do count as as multi. Yeah, I just read it a few minutes ago. So, um, at least that's my interpretation. Now, uh, hang on just a second. You're looking at Doom? Yeah. Okay, let me get down there so that I can kind of read what's going on. Uh, target is stymied or vulnerable. Target is stymied and vulnerable. As good as the next test, but disfavored. Okay, so... Um, and that's what kind of range? 50 meters. Holy moly. So these guys are in like... Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 24 and you got a result of 20. Now, squad C. I've got to open up 8 and 9 from squad C. Alright. So... They have... Uh, let's see. What does that do again? That spell? Um, uh, faith or spirit. Faith or spirit. Okay. All right. So, uh, do they have faith? No. So it's their spirit. They've got a spirit of eight. So that's an outstanding success, I think. Um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, 12. That's, yeah, that's going to be an outstanding success on both of them. And now, two bands, so that, wow. So stymied, vulnerable, and disfavored. What's wrong with my bad guys? Why don't you like my bad guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me... Okay, so stymied... Vulnerable, and I'll have to remember about the disfavored. Okay, uh, get that guy open. Stymied, vulnerable, and let's see. That was for how many rounds? Three rounds. Okay, so I'll count these guys for three rounds. That guy's popping loose next round. So. All right, let me hide this and hide this. Uh, actually, you just did a multi-target, didn't you? So I've got to yeah. deal one card to you. Come on now. Don't. Okay. Uh, oh, no, it's the romance card. Uh, 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 uh. I'll put that in my why? <laughs> so that gets you a possibility and a card. Yeah. Okay. Possibility and another card. Okay. Don't forget to add a possibility to yourself. Already done. So then that leaves Chris. And remember, it's any multi-action will get you a card. Okay, but first off, I'm going to play this card. Sorry. Okay, so you get to act twice this round. That's not going to count as a multi-action. The flurry, the flurry just gives you two different actions. Okay. Now remember, you're also in a wood building. It's it's made of wood and uh, corrugated uh, tin. There's water. <laughs> Your seaplane is also sitting right there. There's water. <laughs> okay. All right, hit it. Okay, 16. That's really good. Okay, so ST Runner 2. 
Yeah, uh, pyrokinesis, uh, I'm looking at a dodge, right? Dodger Dex. Dodger Dex. So his dodge is actually an eight. Um, so that's twice. Uh, so you get two bonus dice for whatever damage you do. Well, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, ST Runner 2. So you don't you don't have to do the flurry. Um, give me a minute, and I'll try and get that flurry card back out so you can recover it. Because you you won't need it. Um, okay, and then shock, and then edit, delete. Hello, oh, delete, delete character. Okay, then I can take this guy and put an X across his eyes. And send them to the map layer. Okay, so now let me get rid of this card and then let me get into the discard. And it was the flurry, right? Okay, does it will it allow you to drag to grab that card? Can you even see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, good. All right, so that's done. Um, it wasn't a multi-action, but it wasn't a bad round either. If you guys have not put, and, and this includes you, Dogfight, if you have not yet put a card into your pool, uh, you can go ahead and do that, because the fight ain't done. Okay. In fact, I'm going to grab the next card. Uh, I need Drama Deck, Nile Empire. Thank you. And then, ta-da. So, when our intrepid adventurers return, they face true heroics. Any Storm Knight may gain a possibility by sacrificing a turn to help an innocent bystander or creature. That's not going to apply here. The uh, Okay, it's a standard scene. The villains will get to go first, but they're stymied. And then heroes. The proved actions will be maneuver and taunt. Now, Robert... Allow me to offer you an apology. Okay. Okay. Here's the... <laughs> that is good. That, that was really good. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know what? For all that you've put up with and for the... the Killer quote. Go ahead and add a possibility. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um. Open up your character sheet. Are there any questions? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me kind of go around the table, folks, to see if there's anything you guys need done. So, um, Connor, is that all you had to say? Yeah. For now. Okay. Um, then in that case, Robert, any questions or anything you want to address? Um, well, I, I do want to know, I, I, while I was sitting here, I, um, I both thought there was a couple of people who had rules questions about certain things. Mm -hmm. I, I copy and pasted the relevant rules into the, uh, Discord. Oh, there you go. Um, about short bursts and long bursts and about multi-actions. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, then in that case, it comes around to Andrew. It, me too. Yeah, I know. It just it, it took forever tonight. Now I I do have to ask you. Uh, this uh, Rocket Ranger picture you've got in the in the chat on Discord is that what you want for your image? Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. With hard yeah. Yeah. She, she just can't forget you've got you've got uh, your your 
the upper part of your leg is kind of normal, but then you've got two other parts of your leg that kind of go backwards on you a little bit. I can't remember what that's called, but uh, as, as a lizard man, you don't just have straight legs. So that's something to consider also. <laughs> Well, you guys will have to remember that for next time so that you can get introductions and stuff. Um, I think Peaches has finally... Um, next round, they might. Um, so, so, yeah, okay. Well, so Peaches and Thuban can actually now see Mo and Dogfight. So um, we'll, we'll deal with that on the next round since you faced that way, um, even though the villains get to go first. Okay, and then Peaches would be next. I am going in alphabetical order, by the way. So, Peaches, do you have any questions, queries, quibbles, quips? Arguments. No, I think that she, she is shouting at Mo and, and uh, trying to call his attention to her. He, uh, he is aiming at Colonel Manateth. Oh, well, Manateth is fleeing, and and he seems to be kind of crazed right now. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that next week. Um, he's in armor. You hear Mo's voice, and you can see that big old tail of his. Um, and you can see the, the, the legs that he's got are, are backward bent. Um, but are you absolutely certain that that's Mo? I, I, I called out to him. You're going to call out to him anyway? Okay. No. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't seen me here. He hasn't had the opportunity to see me. Uh, I called out to him and then I looked at him and I'm like, I can't tell. So I, I just... Took a chance? No. Hey, Mo. Uh, so yeah, for for next week, Andrew, just remember that you have heard your name now uh, called. Okay, Suban, anything from you? I don't have any character questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if you find something, write down questions about it, and you know, tell me where it is and what you want to do with it, and send them to me an email. Okay. Have you got my email? So, does everybody have their cards in their pool? Yes. Now, wait a minute. What, Robert? What happened to your possibilities? Did I not link your token correctly? Okay. Let me. Let me get out dogfight. Oh, that's okay. The the blue is your possibilities. Uh, let me let me kind of fix this. So let's see. Possibilities, yeah, you got four. Shock, you've got six. So that should be showing up properly. You have no wounds. Okay, so why are your possibilities not showing up here? So hang on just a second. My friends, I hope you have an amazing week. Tonight went a lot more smoothly, even though there were still bumps and hiccups, than last Saturday. So I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I did. Hopefully next session, everyone will be able to play for the full length of the game. Absolutely. You guys, please don't repeat it, please. I quite enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. I can't wait till I actually get to like see the uh, <laughs> I was afraid I was gonna get to the point where I was just gonna swoop down grab you and rock it off. Because I'm, I'm on a rescue mission. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, those uh I, I hate those spells. <laughs> I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. But I'll deal with them. Um, because they're street legal. So, uh, so let me switch over to this map. So, I'm going to bid you all adieu and good night then. Exactly. 
Exactly. And, and that's actually kind of the outcome that I wanted originally, because this is a fight that could really turn bad for you guys. I really enjoyed tonight. Thank you.